thank you to the EA Creator Network for providing me with a code for The Sims 4 Growing Together. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am back with Growing Together and I'm back. I don't know what order these videos are going to go up in. I've made a, a, I've made a family in preparation for going, Growing Together and I'm so excited to share them with you. I kind of made them yesterday and kind of tweeted about them a little bit on, on Twitter because I just, I made them and I was like, I'm so happy with this family that I've just made. I love them so much already. So I've made them with Growing Together in mind. So they have got kind of like grandparents who can come and like help out with the newborn babies and the kids and things like this and they've actually got twins so I just kind of want to show you them like I'm really pleased with them so um, I've got Joy Olasoga who is um, basically the story of this family Joy and uh, Adam who are mum and dad um, are like kind of like met in high school they were just about to start university or like in the first year of university and um, they got pregnant unexpectedly it was a little bit of a surprise pre pregnancy um, and then the thing is these two they love each other very much and they were absolutely hoping to start a family one day but they were really in, they weren't even like into the early stage of the career or anything like that so they're very ambitious they'd really really like to reach their full potential but they're doing this with two toddlers well infants in tow so um mum and dad are really there to kind of like help out uh to come in and like offer babysitting or support or whatever they need so again this idea of like the supportive family so uh, I want to talk about Joy first. So Joy is um, academic. Uh, she kind of really wants to kind of um, like like go to university. She re it's really important to her that even though she's just had the two babies, this doesn't kind of like stop her achieving her dreams. So she really wants to kind of like complete her university education. Um, and she kind of wants to go into something like law. Um, so it's up to you kind of when you play out what you what path you choose for her. But her, the idea is like she really, really wants to kind of continue with her education and kind of like, um, you know, reach her full potential because she's very smart. She's very academic. She's a bookworm, she's ambitious, and she's loyal. She's actually quite a she's quite a down-to-earth, sweet-natured, simple kind of person. She's she's just hardworking, grounded. Um, I really, really like her. I like her general energy. She seems really sweet. She seems like she'd be a really calm kind of parent as well. You know, like she'd she'd kind of like know how to like be that kind of like perfect parent to her kids and discipline them in a really like loving way. I kind of, I really want to play with them. I think they're going to be really, really sweet to play with. So I am going to kind of give them a bit of a makeover in this video with Cass. Um, kind of that was always my intention. I've made them, uh, because I kind of like seen Cass in other people's videos, I kind of made them with the Cass in mind, if that makes any sense, like the style will suit them. So yeah, I'm definitely going to kind of like give them a bit of a makeover. But before I do, I kind of want to focus on personality first. So I've given them a few lights she likes the color blue she likes jazz music I also want to let her let her I just also want to set her to have um, to like soul music as well uh, because again that was kind of my intention that's my thought process when I was making these sims um, I've only just got the pack I didn't get early access so I've got it in at the same time as everybody else so again these are like sims that I kind of prepared in advance and I'm kind of exploring the pack with you guys right now uh, so sim ca characteristic characteristics this is talking about the kind of sims like the kind of people that you sim would get on with because she's very hard working I feel like she'd like hard working sims but not necessarily get on very well with like lazy or sloth sims I feel like do you know what I feel like she would be okay with argumentative but I feel like she'd, hmm, I don't think she'll like argumentative sims, but I think she'd be like, she'd like an argument, because I think she's like Elwood, she's like, you know, I'll, what is it, I'm not afraid of a challenge kind of thing, so I don't think she'll like argumentative sims, because it says they're like hot-headed, mean or evil, but I think she would enjoy arguing, I think she would like cerebral sims, she's very, you know, she is very academic so uh what else would she like i feel like she would like idealist again wanting to be like a lawyer 
Um, and then I don't think she would like rascals. Um, I don't know if she'd like pessimistic sims either, but I think she would like optimistic sims. So she's got a bit of a range there. And then conversation topics. So I think she will enjoy arguments because she actually likes, one of her likes is research and debate. So she actually likes debating. Um, I don't think she'll like deception. Uh, because again, she's a lawyer. She believes in like honesty. Um, I don't think she'd like silly behavior and definitely not malicious um, intentions. I don't feel like she'd be big on potty humor as well. She's quite serious in my mind. Uh, so I feel like she would enjoy stories because again, she's a bookworm. So she'd enjoy people's stories. She enjoys people, right? Um, and not complaints, deep thoughts. I feel like she'd be a deep thinker. Uh, there we go. So we've got a little bit of stuff on the go for her there. So again, to kind of show you, she likes polished passion. Um, she likes research and, research and debate and she likes writing. Again, very, very academic. Um, and she likes art deco decor, which is a new one. I don't know if you've all saw my tweet on this, but they've just added art deco, um, cute, uh, looks, uh, vintage, and uh, I think that, my, oh, and shabby as well. They're all new. Industrial came a little while ago with one of the kits. Um, yeah, so like just to make you all aware that that's new options as well. Um, and I feel like, do I, did I set her sexual orientation? I think she would be, I think she would be straight. <laughs> she's kind of like a very, very traditional sim. She likes men, she's not exploring. She, she knows who she is and she knows what she likes. Um, can she produce milk? Yes. Um, I think I'm gonna leave all those things as they are. Uh, and then uh, does she want a default walk style? I do actually like the walk styles. I would love if they added more. Um, yeah, she looks pretty pleased with herself. We'll go with that one. Uh, and then let's have a look at Adam. So Adam is, uh, again, very, very kind of academic. He's actually more of a stay-at-home dad than uh, Joy is. Joy is definitely, like, she wants to absolutely like like slam her career she wants to be like do the best she could possibly can do very very ambitious adam is a little bit more of uh, a state like he loves kids he's family orientated already so even though they weren't intending to get pregnant i think he would have been thrilled and he would have been the one saying look like happy little happy little accidents um i'm gonna be the one to do all the parenting stuff joy you go and do your career i know how important that is for you so again very very kind of like uh, a modern man kind of thing really like him so he's he wants to be a super parent he wants to be the best parent he can be he wants to be he's family orientated he's also a bookworm so they have that compatibility they have that in common i feel like they would have met at the library or the local bookstore you know that kind of thing uh read a lot of the same books Books. I, I just think that I love them so much and he's an overachiever now this is the thing with him um, Adam is while he's going to do the majority of the parenting he's not looking to be a stay-at-home dad he's not looking to not have a career and what I'm thinking for Adam with him being such a, a like kind of academic but really good with kids teaching i really want adam to get into teaching so again he may have to go to university to access that career uh, so again i don't want them to put their ambitions on hold just because they've had children but i want them to kind of lean on that kind of parental support in order to kind of like make their dreams come true so a very different challenge from um i don't know the order that i'm going to put my videos up but i've also got the tartosi family a video on them very very different uh stories and very different intentions of how these families are to be played like really really different uh just different backgrounds and different playability so it'll be really interesting to see how the different dynamics work with different types of families um but yeah i really really i think they're so sweet he's a bit of a hipster <laughs> he's a bit of a hipster i've definitely got a huge crush on him like look at him so i, I have to confess like when i was kind of like doing his face he's based on mark Tulio, I think his name is. He's a character in The Handmaid's Tale and he's kind of like the um, ambassador. He's like the American ambassador. Bit of a crush on him. <laughs> so he's kind of slightly got like that kind of face shape. I think he's just so, I, I love this family so much. I think they're really, really adorable. Um, so then we've got Joy's mother. Now, um, while this is intended to be a British family, um, the background of Joy and Ma uh, Mercy, I'm calling her Mary, Joy and Mercy is Nigerian. So um, in the UK and in Britain, we have the Commonwealth and it's a, a, num a member of like, I think it's like 42 countries and it's kind of got um, 
it, it's kind of like there's, there's opportunities to go between the countries so uh, we do have a, a lot of people in England who are from Nigeria or have Nigerian parentage like my own family my own kind of like um, my dad grew up in Nigeria because the two countries have this kind of like exchange program thing going where there's like opportunities for people and to like to go to each country. Uh, so yeah, I kind of wanted to show the kind of multiculturalism of what I see as being British. Uh, so yeah, so you have um, um, Adam and his dad who are very, very kind of English uh, in their kind of like background and ancestry. And then Mercy and Joy who have that kind of like Nigerian kind of background. Uh, so I did my best to kind of like show that, especially in Mercy's clothing, because I wanted her to have the, that those kind of influences in her clothing. But I do find, because I feel like, um, African culture is not represented very well in The Sims 4. Um, I think that there's not a lot of clothing available to kind of like show that kind of ancestry and that background. And that's not to say everybody from a certain background has to wear the clothes. So I'm seeing Joy as kind of like, um, because she's a, a, a younger generation, she's kind of just wearing kind of like what's in fashion like fashionable like uh what's on the high street kind of thing where her mom has that more of that connection to kind of like the Ankara fabrics and that kind of heritage so uh yeah I tried to show that through the colors and the style again based on my own perception of what I see in a world around me so I may have got it a little bit off I'm a little bit tentative about sharing this because I'm always a bit worried about the difference between like uh cultural appreciation and cultural appropriation and trying to represent a culture that's not directly my own even though I have that kind of story myself um you know with my dad kind of um I'm Nana and everybody kind of like living there for a number of years but again it's just kind of like there's always a little bit of a grey area so I hope this is coming across as the way it's intended which is to, supposed to be appreciation and kind of like representation of my literal like world around me so anyway so Mercy is, uh, she, I just kind of want to show you the, like what I did with the clothing because again, I would love more assets so that we have more uh, available kind of um, to create Sims with like the different backgrounds because I do feel like it's kind of missing. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think I did a good job, if I, you think I was accurate or if you think I was kind of like, if I was off the mark, like I'm open to feedback on that. But yeah, I'm personally very, very happy with her. Um, and so yeah, see she's again, very, this kind of like ambition. So she wants to have a successful lineage. So it's really important to her that her daughter like really takes advantage of the opportunities that are available to her. So um, she really wants to push Joy to continue with her education and to kind of like, uh, to, to fulfill her dream so it really is coming from a mother um, but at the same time absolutely thrilled because she's family orientated and she does want that successful lineage right um she's super excited like really really doting on the grandchildren like she is there to help she's also neat as well she's a bit of a homebody so she's really going to be around a lot kind of like um you know kind of maybe even interfering a little bit with the running of the household like she's going to be very very hands-on but that is going to be like a close relationship and it's going to be appreciated because you know the the joy and adam they really want to kind of like fulfill their ambitions so they're really appreciated to have mercy there even if sometimes she can be a little bit too much <laughs> um so yeah so i need to kind of like do some more of her preferences oh I didn't show you Adam's preferences did I and I didn't even show you like joy close-up she's so beautiful like look at her so I really wanted to do like minimal makeup kind of like this own natural kind of look and so she has got makeup on but I've really kind of like turned the subtlety down on her I think she's gorgeous I think she's got such a beautiful face shape kind of like her cheeks so I think I just think I'm in love with these sims I think they're really really sweet sims and I'm so pleased with myself because I feel like my creative sim ability is getting better and better and better uh, so yeah so Adam, uh, just kind of jumping back into, I'm sorry about that, I'm <laughs> just excited. Um, he likes the colours blue and brown, uh, so again they have that in common, they both like the colour blue, so like I feel like they're going to use a lot of blue in the home, in the decoration. Um, so he hasn't got a music genre yet, again because I really wanted him to like soul music, so I kind of left that blank. Um, and they're quite positive, they don't have many negatives, I figured like maybe they'd go gain a few f through gameplay, but I wanted it to be a very positive family. Um, so. Um, 
uh, activities. He likes research and debate as well, so they have that in common. He also likes cooking. Again, he, he's quite a bit of a homebody. Uh, fashion, he likes hipster and polished. Um, and decor, he likes vintage decor. I feel like that's really his style. I feel like he'd be in the antique shops, in the charity shops, reclaiming things and kind of having a very kind of like dark academia kind of look is what I was kind of thinking for him. Um, so she's kind of a little bit more Art Deco, he's a little bit more uh, Victorian vibe, but I feel like they can they can make it work, right? Um, so um, what do we want to do in terms of his sim characteristics? So uh, he's, I don't think he's going to be too hard on ambitious, ambitionless sims, but I feel like he is going to appreciate high, hard, hard working sims. He's also going to appreciate cerebral sims. I don't feel like he would like argumentative sims. I don't think he'd like emotional decision makers either. I think he's quite a, like again, a, a strategist. He's quite into logic. Um, I've actually looked up uh, Sam something is called, Mark Tuello's, uh, the actor's star sign. He's an Aquarius, just side note, <laughs> stalking him. Um, he's, uh, what else does he wanna be? So I feel like he'd be okay with rascals. Again, as, with that kind of teacher energy, I feel like he'd be very embracing of like all the different children and all like, I don't feel like he'd reject people really. Uh, I feel like he'd appreciate homebody oh. sims because I feel like he has that himself as well. And I think he'd also be a little bit of an idealist and he'd like optimistic sims. I don't think he'd dislike oh pessimistic sims though. I feel like he's kind of, yeah, I feel like I'm happy with those for him. Um, and then conversation, um, I feel like, would he like arguments? I feel like he wouldn't like arguments, where his wife does, he doesn't. So that might be a source of frustration for them. Um, I don't think he'd like, I feel like he'd be against deception. Or would he be like, you know what, white lies are kind of okay. I feel like he'd dis definitely dislike malicious interactions. I feel like he'd love stories. I feel like he'd kind of like a little bit of silly behavior. Again, being a teacher, I feel like he'd kind of tolerate that. Maybe he's not really about the gossip though. I don't feel like he'd like to gossip behind people's backs. Again, just on deep thoughts, I feel like he would like. Um, affection, I feel like they would be affectionate, but perhaps not overly affectionate. It's not like the driving thing. Uh, so there we go. And then let's have a look at his, um, I feel like this is all just gonna stay the same and their sexual orientation. Again, I feel like they're just gonna be quite, quite straightforward, these two. I feel like they know what they like. Um, very quite traditional, which is not a bad thing. Again, lots of different variety of sims that I like to create and some want to be straight and some don't want to be straight. It's okay, there's room for everybody here. Um, I think as well, like what do we want to do here? So, um, perky walk, snooty walk. I actually really like the feminine walk sometimes on guys. I don't know, I kind of like it for him. Uh, so I'm gonna use that for him there as well. Uh, so what was I doing for Mercy? So Mercy, uh, let's give her some stuff. Uh, again, I want her to like soul. I kind of really left it. I really wanted them to like the soul music. Again, something they, they can all enjoy together. Um, and then what do we have here? So family motivated Sims, really gonna like that. She likes hardworking Sims. She likes homebody Sims. Uh, what would she dislike? Um, would she be okay with rascals? I don't think she'd like ambitionless sims, so let's go with that. Um, I'm not gonna do cerebral sims because I feel like that's more the kids thing. She's more about like the f like family and success with the family. Uh, I don't think she'd like malicious interactions. Um, I don't, maybe she wouldn't like deep thoughts. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, arguments. I feel like she'd be up for an argument. I feel like she would she would argue with a daughter. Um and what else as well? Like I like, you know, maybe not silly behaviour, definitely not pranks, does like stories, does like small talk. There we go, that's her bad. Does like gossip. Okay, so again, there may be some rubbing up the wrong way there with that. Um, activity, she likes baking, piano and singing. Um, she likes polished fashion and she likes art deco decor like her daughter. Okay, let's go to, I'll show you her little face as well. Like. She's so cute, she's really sweet. And then we'll show you dad and then we're gonna have to jump into Cass and kind of like update them a little bit. So again, Ralph is kind of like very traditionally and stereotypically British and kind of like Victorian kind of British as well, like empire British. Yeah. And so there's some negative connotations there, but um, I'm kind of seeing him. I don't know if you've all seen, um, oh, what's it called? Ah, damn, what's the 
actress's name who played Pamela Anderson. I don't know, right? Hang on, I'm gonna have to Google it and see because it's gonna drive me mad if I can't remember it. Okay, I remembered. So it's a, a movie, a movie, it's a TV show with Lily James, who's gorgeous. Um, and the TV show is The Pursuit of Love. Definitely recommend it if any of you want are looking for something to watch, The Pursuit of Love. And it's um, the dad in that. So uh, the dad is kind of like this, he kind of like is this old English guy who's into like hunting. He's kind of like a bit random. So in my head, he's got a little bit of that vibe, but not really. But he's kind of like he's a bit eccentric. He's he's an explorer. He wants to go to Salvador Dorada and explore the jungle. So he has that kind of like old stereotypical English energy to him, but in a good way, in a way that's appreciative and not trying to kind of like take over anywhere. So oh, background. Um. So um. <laughs> It's how Nigeria got involved, guys. <laughs> it's like, let's, let's, not, let's focus on the positive. Um, so, adventurers. Let's acknowledge the negative and focus on the positive. Um, adventurers and uh, loves the outdoors and oh, self-assured. So, again, I've been a little bit cheeky. I've been a little bit tongue-in-cheek with him. But, again, he's, he's, I, I intend him to be a good person, like a good, supportive dad. Just a little bit eccentric, a little bit caught up in his own interests and hobbies. Uh, so, he likes the colour green. He... Uh, he likes classical music he's kind of like you know like probably has a big old house in the country somewhere and like has a bit of a farmland you know that like that kind of guy uh he likes classical music let's give him some sims characteristics he likes arguments uh he doesn't like ambitionless sims either he thinks people should maybe not be hard working but have some kind of drive he loves nature enthusiasts he's he's all about saving the environment he loves the outdoors so he's very into like 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 ecosystems and like geography and that kind of thing. I feel like he'd be all right with rascals. He likes spirited sims. He's got a little bit of fun about him. Hates pessimist sims, loves optimist sims. Not really a homebody, but doesn't like, dislike them either. Uh, yeah, I think, and he's, he's gonna like emotional decision makers, I feel. And then let's go to conversation topics. So, um, likes arguments, doesn't like complaints, doesn't like deception uh likes deep thoughts like you know no doesn't like malicious interactions or pranks loves stories uh not really into potty i feel like he would be into potty humor he'd be a bit awkward around the christmas like around the table at christmas uh loves compliments there we go he's got some stuff hates small talk he thinks it's really boring there we go so he's got some stuff going on there likes outdoorsy fashion he likes rock climbing <laughs> and mixology uh and he likes vintage decor so he'd like have a similar taste to adam there so he's definitely like as a little bit tongue-in-cheek a little bit old english <laughs> kind of like probably loves watching clarkson's farm that kind of energy um um, but yeah, this is kind of like his look. And he's like, I like him. I like him as a character. He's not a bad person kind of thing. He's uh, he's just, he is who he is. Um, they've also got a dog. Uh, they've got Skip Olusoga. And Skip is loyal. He's friendly and he's smart. Because I like the idea of like having the dog, like helping to like parent and nanny and look after the kids. I went for kind of like a lassie. Because my go-to dogs in The Sims are uh, the Golden Retriever and the um, the German Shepherd but I used them too much and I wanted to do something different so I was going for the kind of the collie the kind of lassie looking dog but I didn't really like the shape of it um so I ended up going for a mixed breed so it's a lassie mixed a lassie a collie um mixed with a, a golden retriever and I just randomized until I got a dog that kind of looked really friendly and cute but I had the coloring of the collie uh so yeah it's um is it she's he is it he or she i didn't actually think about that he he's a, he's a good boy he's a good boy we love him um and then like the kids so we've got daniel olasoga who is calm absolute little sweetie like look at this guy he's so so cute looking look at his little face like butter wouldn't melt right he's really really cute so we'll update the clothing as well in a moment and then we've got rachel olasoga as well and uh she is cautious so they're quite calm again reflecting the kind of temperament of the parents because i was thinking about using 
sunny but I thought that was like very outgoing uh, and kind of bubbly and so I thought calm and cautious kind of like suit them a little bit better with the parents being a little bit more uh, kind of reserved um, and yeah but I wanted them to have like nice temperaments as well so they're really cute I really like them and definitely looking forward to playing with them but let's have a look at Cass because this is why we're here so let's have a look at her hair let's I don't know what to do so <laughs> if I just put on all the filters I have had a quick look at Cass already in another video that I actually ended up not putting up um but yeah so my feelings on Cass um and again this isn't going to be like a full Cass review we're just going to kind of update some of their outfits um and I kind of finished them off probably off camera, but just because I want to talk about Cass a little bit, there's no new shoes, which I feel like is a bit of a disappointment. Now there's a lot of Cass assets. There's um it, there's Cass for like uh, men, women, a really good range for men as well, which I feel like we needed because if we just jump to the men's clothes, a lot of the men's clothes are kind of like a little bit over the top. They're a little bit kind of um like oh like overly fashionable or like they're kind of like funny clothes um and we really really need more kind of like basic kind of like everyday clothing and that's what this pack has a lot of so if you're looking for kind of like comfy old favorites this is that kind of vibe like it makes me think of that cardigan song by taylor swift when i felt like an old cardigan under somebody's bed you put me on and said i was your favorite and um, it's like that's the energy of this pack so it's not the most fashion forward pack it's more like um i think one of the designers said it was kind of like thrift shop vintage kind of energy um so uh matthew so just remembered somebody's name <laughs> such an idiot um same with matt i got your name wrong in the other video and my brain went black <laughs> yeah, now i've remembered it in this video so shout out sing room Matt um so sorry that just came out of nowhere that's how my brain works um so yeah so I like kind of like the everyday clothing so let's have a look at men's first because I do feel like men's wear is kind of a win I really really like this one <laughs> he's just took his pants off I really like this one so again I feel like he'd like his like old comfy vintage clothing uh you know he's got a little bit that kind of like because like like not conservative like dad energy uh this is what probably one of my favorite items from the whole pack i think because it has because it gives daddy vibes and i'm all all about that <laughs> so and then we've got like uh, a nice selection of kind of quite wearable pants um but something that does bother me a little bit with pants in the sims 4 is i feel like they put too much detail on them sometimes i just want a nice fit in basic pair of pants but you know what they're all right at least they're kind of a high waist they're quite cool and trendy maybe he'd like wearing those but like in a kind of like or maybe not mm, mm. do you know what maybe he would wear he's kind of a little bit quirky maybe he would wear something like that i don't ah i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it I'm probably going to update them a little bit before I put them on the gallery so I may kind of mix and match a little bit more but this top is a winner I really like that kind of top for him um this feels like a, like a granddad running track suit I think that's the intention of it you know for like when they do the power walking uh what else kind of suits him I do like this as well I think this is kind of like quite a nice uh top I kind of actually just do really like the black but again he's he probably would wear kind of the mustard color uh, like Colonel Mustard in the library with the candlestick, definitely the energy of this family. Um, and what else as well? So there's, yeah, there's kind of like quite a few. I quite like this one for him as well. Uh, this suits him because again, it's kind of like a little bit vintage looking. It's a little bit retro looking. I feel like it is the sort of thing he'd probably wear. You can see him being like the cute supply teacher that everybody has a crush on, right? Like cute arty supply teacher. He is actually super duper cute. So I kind of like show you some of the other items that he's wearing as well. Um, again, I probably will update him a little bit. So kind of a little bit vintage looking. Uh, he's kind of, he's got a little bit of style to him. He cares about his wardrobe. Uh, and then like, I don't know, he's like a little bit hipster, I like him, he's so cute. Um, is it is it normal to have crushes on your sims? Because I do. <laughs> nice. Oh, I forgot as well, I put the stretch marks on him as well. Um, yeah, because he can't be too perfect. He's got to have a little bit of something, something that he's dealing with, right? Uh, he's just really, really cute. I really like, I want him to be my teacher. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got another, like, there we go as well as well. actually do you know what let's put this on him like i kind of like this for his like every day like that's nicer i like it better with those jeans 
Maybe in the like the darker blue though. I can't get to it because it's okay. Oh, they could, oh, that's a miss as well. I wish there was more denim color. I could have done with the navy blue in that. Yeah, close enough. Okay, so yeah, so like the men's cast, it's, it's quite wearable, it's quite nice. I don't want to show you every asset because there's other people who've done that already in detail, so there's just no point. Um, so, oh, what we haven't looked at is hair. Uh, there's a lot of new textured hair in this pack. So again, that's kind of one of the reasons why, uh, why I made Joy, because I wanted to use those new textured hairs. Uh, so growing together, like, it's, she's so cute. Like, I just feel like <laughs> she's just so cute. So uh, they did actually work in the live stream. They said they actually worked with uh, a, um, a hairstylist to kind of like get the hairs right. And they're trying to improve like the texture and like the paint work of some of the hairs. Like, she's just, oh my gosh, she's adorable. She's so cute looking. So that's why there's quite a few Afro hairs in the, the pack because that's something that they've been actively working on, like improving the quality of, of that kind of textured hair. Um, I do hope like, um, like I'm really glad to have more textured hair because it's something that was missing. But going forward, I kind of would love to have more kind of like long girly styles just because I want more hair for myself. <laughs> Please, Sims team. And I know that's something, I know it's kind of like what we had a lot of in the beginning and we didn't have enough textured hair. And now I kind of feel like we're getting a lot of textured hair and I'm like, but I want hair too, <laughs> kind of thing. But again, I don't want to take anything away from the people who um, were underrepresented in the first place. But if we could slide in a few kind of like Rachel haircuts, feathered haircuts, like curls, like longer kind of girly early styles just maybe white one per pack i'd appreciate it sims team thanks so much because i feel like we've not had as many recently um a lot of the longer hairs that we have are kind of like um like like kind of like trendy or edgy and i just kind of want more girly hair because i'm girly <laughs> and that's i'm gonna move swiftly on um so yeah what would she wear like would she wear something like that i wonder like, this is really cute. I do like this outfit. And I kind of like it with those boots as well. I think there's boots from Inkyana Rivals. Um, that's cute. I can see her wearing that, actually. That's really sweet. Like, I kind of like... Oh, like the plain colours as well. Wait, hang on. I want to put this on a mum. I want to put this on a mum. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm into it. Um, like that. Like, oh, yeah, she would wear that. She would totally wear that. I wish it had a few brighter options, but like that and then let's like make the patterned headscarf which one works that one works quite well oh look i like it i love that for her and then like let's put on um one of the um one of the patterned ones as well oh yeah this really suits her i like this for her a lot uh, like i like that one and then let's change the color of the 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 hair wrap like what colour should we, do you know actually maybe I like the pink, maybe I like the pink with it, purple, uh, I think I like the pink actually, do you know what, I think I'm going to leave that like that, yeah I like that, oh that actually really suits her, I'm happy with that, because again I was struggling to kind of find clothes for it and then I saw that and I was like no that really suits her, that's perfect, I kind of want to put this on her as well as like her like uh, dressy up outfit, She's so wholesome and cute. She likes the colour blue. Let's give her blue. Like, I really, really like it. And then, like, sh should we do her hair differently for this? Like, look how into this I am. I'm, like, feeling it. Like, maybe that updo. Like, I feel like that's too much hair. Maybe she's got extensions in. <laughs> like, this really kind of cute. She's so sweet. I'm, like, I really, really like her. Um, okay. Liking the cast. Like, my first impressions was, like, oh, it's a bit fuddy duddy, But actually... I kind of like it for kind of more mumsy, kind of conservative, kind of like homey sims, which again, like, yeah, I'm actually quietly impressed. And you do get a lot of cast as well. Um, so like, what do I want to do? Do I want to keep that on a, maybe not if I've used it on a, maybe I do, maybe I do want to use it, but let's get a different like pattern. Let's go with the blue. Cause again, she's quite, she likes the colour blue, that's her favourite colour. She's so cute with her hair. Um, I kind of want to put the other one on her as well, like like this one. What's the difference between that one and that one? Oh, just like the coloured headband. She's so cute. Um, 
and then like what else as well what would she wear i don't like really like the corset on that one my feeling on this is like i really really like the cardigan and there's a similar one for children as well um which i like better the one for children has like a a, a more kind of a different top a different style of top underneath which i think works better i don't like this with the corset i'd wear the i'd have the corset with like a jacket and then I just don't, I feel like they're almost like two different trends and I don't like it together. So I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. This is very her, I feel like she'd wear this. Oh, I like it in that colour for her, okay. And then what else do we have here? Like these are really cute as well. Like, yes, yes. I like, I like it. And I like it more, the more I play with it, the more I like this pack. Where I was a little bit kind of unsure about the clothing at first. I am kind of liking it the more I play with it. Um, and then maybe like we'll change those to black. Like that. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. All right, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Let's just kind of see if there's anything else for Grandad here. <laughs> He's so funny. I kind of just, I just, I just find him a funny sim. Um, then maybe this? Like maybe that kind of like a bit more that's a very grand like that is such a grand item what colors does he like i've forgotten is it green oh my goodness so much green <laughs> i'm gonna put that on him i think and then um i don't know if maybe those pants there we go they can be green <laughs> maybe maybe i don't like that color combination too much um give me a sec guys he's not the most he's not he's not really the most fashionable sim we'll, we'll leave it at that and then the piece de resistance let's have a look at the baby hairs so there are new baby hairs in the pack this one's kind of a little bit curly but i actually i'll show you for the sake of showing you but I actually prefer this one on him. I don't know, it's something about the shape of his face. It really, really suits him. Um, and then we've got some new like uh, items here as well. Um, oh, hang on, we're on bedtime clothing. So let's give him, what else do we want to put on him? Like, yes, this just is so cute. I feel like something like that. I feel like that's the kind of vibe that the family would go for. That one maybe, like it's very, I feel like that's a little bit too washed out. It's a little bit kind of, I, I don't, maybe like, deepened the colour or something like it's just a little bit too bright let's just keep that one on him that one's really cute and then what else is there in terms of like oh <laughs> there's no 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 tops okay I guess it's like onesies fine and then like the little girl she's like she's so cute like look at her hair guys she's so sweet I don't want to change her hair I'm going to stick with the one she's got and then like what else is there what would she wear she's so wholesome and sweet uh maybe Maybe, I mean, that might be good for like hot weather. Like something like, she's so cute. So I figured like she'd be really into animals. Like she really, really likes animals. Uh, that's her whole vibe. And she likes the color orange. <laughs> Can you put like some, so you can't do preferences for kids, but just so you know, she likes like yellow and orange. Cause she's like a sunny little sweet child. She's not sunny, but in my head, she's kind of got that kind of like sweet nature. Like, and then with the cat on. She just, they're so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> okay, so that is the family. That's the family. I'm really excited to play with them because I think they're really sweet and wholesome and I love them so much. So again, I will kind of like spend a little bit more time just kind of tweaking them, maybe putting a few more of the clothes from uh, the new pack on them. And uh, yeah, and then I'll upload them to the gallery and you can play with them yourselves. And I really hope like it's such a challenge as well to get them through university. So like without children, so to do it with children, it just feels like it's gonna be a really big challenge. And what that's gonna do in terms of like the stress on the relationship and things like that be really interesting to see how it plays out and how it plays out for different people so if you do play with this family i would love it if you would uh kind of tweet to me any screenshots just like to show me kind of what's going on in your game and kind of let me know in the comment box down below as well kind of like if anything interesting happens i kind of love to see kind of like what you will get up to with this family if you choose to play with them and they will be up on the gallery within the next couple of days so uh yeah take care and i will see you again soon and thank you for all my all the support my channel and like liking the video and all that stuff really appreciate it i look so ill all right take care i'll see you again soon bye friends